iOS 26 is turning out to be an amazing update. Now, even better than I'd expected, and I will talk about all that and why I'm saying that in a few minutes here. But first of all, let's talk about some more features that we have been able to discover on the second beta of iOS 26. This is actually full with features and changes is an amazing update. And it's actually a lot of features that you will find yourself using on daily basis that make your life much, much easier. So let's get first started with the lock screen. So on the lock screen of your iOS 26 device, when you go to customize, your device right here you know that when you actually apply the big clock here when you stretch out the clock it will actually automatically put your widgets at the bottom but now with the second beta you can actually choose where you want to actually place your widget so you can go ahead and place them at the top right there which is of course the default one but even without making the big clock here you can still bring down the widgets right here so if you prefer having them at the bottom which in my opinion is much better because you have easier access to them while using your iphone with one hand then you can just go ahead and choose to place them right there without even having to apply the big clock now here's another really good change you probably have seen this screen at some point on your iphone this is what appears when water gets into the charger of your iPhone and you try to charge it. You will basically see this screen right here. But in some cases, you might just plug in your device and just move away from it and not even see that the screen is up. Well, now with iOS 26, when you have this screen and there is liquid detected on the charger of your iPhone, it will show the screen, but it will also give you like a beeping sound, an alarm basically letting you know that something is wrong. Now, what's really cool is that you will actually hear that sound even though your device might be on the silent mode. So it will basically override that and give you a sound alarm that there is actually liquids in the charger of your iPhone. Now, here's another great touch to the phone app. As you probably know, with iOS 26, Apple has actually just created a new phone app which is really amazing now here's one of them when you have a few calls here missed calls or something like that you can now swipe like this from the right to the left and it gives you the ability to actually add a reminder for that missed call or whatever that is so you will have that button there and you can choose to quickly add a reminder for that phone call on the photos app on ios 26 when you go into an album or a collection of photos and you tap the search button right there you can see what it does it says right there this collection meaning that you're, you're actually searching only on this collection and not the entire photos library so if i tap right there i can go ahead and start searching and it will actually only only search the current collection of photos or the current album of photos and videos that I'm in. Now with the photos app we also have the animations here updated which is actually really awesome like when you tap like different things here you can see these really cool animations at the bottoms right here it's actually a really really nice touch now with the second beta of ios 26 apple has done a lot of these tweaks they have tweaked the animations pretty much anywhere on ios 26 and they are actually turning out to be really awesome now on iOS 26 and even on iOS 18, of course, you can double tap right here to type to Siri. Now what's new with iOS 26 is that you can now type to Siri even while on a phone call. So let's say you're on a phone call and you actually need to ask Siri something, you wanna to type to Siri. While doing that, you can still double tap here, invoke Siri and ask any question. So as you probably know, on iOS 26, you can set custom backgrounds for your messages. Now you can do that with iMessage, but that was beta one of iOS 26. Now with the second beta, you can actually add like backgrounds to your conversations, even on SMS conversations. So you don't need to be on an iMessage conversation. You can even add them to SMS and RCS and all that stuff. So it's actually really great and not limiting basically users only to those that are actually having a conversation on iMessage. Moving on under the settings app. So let's go to privacy and security here. If we scroll all the way down, we have here wired accessories. So we have a new section here, which basically allows 
allows you to just choose how you want to set the privacy for when you connect your iPhone to an accessory. So as you probably know, when you connect your iPhone, sometimes to charge maybe to a laptop or computer, it will actually ask you to trust it. Now you can choose if you want to always ask, ask for new, automatically allow when your iPhone is unlocked or always allow. Of course, I don't suggest allowing always. You have to be careful where you connect your iPhone to charge or anything. So make sure you actually use the default one is probably the best option. There have been some updates here to the battery look as well. So when you go under the battery settings and you go to the battery usage, you will see an updated look here with the second beta. So we can see right here the battery, how much it has been used, and it shows you what has used your battery. Now when you go here, you can see the colors are different on days that you have used more battery. So you can see it shows blue here when I have used the similar amount of battery that I use daily, but on a day where I, I have used more battery, you can see it even shows right there. It will actually give you different colors in this time here in orange, which basically notifies you that you have been using more battery during that day. Also on the photos library, when your iPhone's photos are syncing, you will see right there at the top where it says library, just underneath it, you will see this label, syncing photos or syncing pause, whatever that happening but you will see it now right there just under the library another smaller change here on the maps app so now instead of library we have places so you can see right there which shows you your recent places or your work and your home and all that instead of library now it just says places so these are some of the new features and changes that we have been able to find on the second beta of iOS 26. But now let's go ahead and move to the important stuff. Just look at this right here. Now this is the Geekbench score that I got on the first beta of iOS 26. And look at this improvement right here. This is beta 2. I expected it to be better but not by a lot. So you can see right here the multi-core score has jumped by over like 200 points, almost 300 points. So 7,300 on beta 1, 7,581 on the second beta. This is just amazing. And when you actually compare this to this one, which is iOS 18.5, you can see it did even better by 130 points better than iOS 18.5. This is just a great, great improvement, a great performance on iOS 26. And even using it on daily basis, you can see it's actually much better than the first beta. And of course, you can expect to be improved even more with the next releases. And the single core score is also not that bad at all. It has improved, of course, a lot from beta one, and it's kind of similar here to iOS 18.5. As far as battery life goes, it's actually not the greatest, but it's not that bad at all, keeping in mind that this is actually a beta which is very, very early on its beta stages. So you can see right here, 166% battery, 9 hours, 20 minutes, right here, 8 hours, right here, 157% battery, 10 hours, 17 minutes. Of course, it's not the greatest ever, but it's actually not the ba that bad at all. So, of course, it will be improved with the next beta. Hopefully, we will get way better battery life. But when will the next beta be released? Well, we are still on the two-week cycle. So, this Monday, we just had, of course, the second beta released. And now you can expect the third beta to come out on July the 7th. That's the day that I'm expecting Apple to release the new update for devs. Now the public beta should come a week after the third beta, so I'm expecting it at the 14th of July. That's most likely the date when Apple will release iOS 26, the first public beta. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.